Okay, in this video I'm going to attempt to demonstrate how to route effects through the drum rack. Now, probably the very simplest way, this is a very simple drum rack I have set up here, and probably the easiest way to set up individual effects on like the snare drum or the toms would be with the flyout. I have a simple pattern here. That'll be good enough for the demonstration. Uh, here's the flyout. Click the little arrow here. And you have all the drums laid out individually. I can click on the snare, for example, and take a effect like a reverb, like this reverb right here, drag it right on there. And now I have some reverb on the snare drum. adjusting my wet dry down here so it's not so extreme and that's all fine and well if you know you just need a reverb just on the snare drum but you know if you wanted it on the toms as well I mean you could repeat the same process drag a reverb in there for each of the toms but now you've got all these reverb engines going and what I'm gonna show you here is how to consolidate that or just have one common reverb for the drums in your drum kit. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this reverb on the fat snare. Let's delete that. That's gone. Go back to your drum rack here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a... Let's see, I'm going to click on the... That's the show hide chain list. And this gives us pretty much the same information here as the flyout. You have all the individual drums. And you got volume and pan and so on. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure that this little marble here is selected the R, which is show or hide returns. And what that does is it pops up this little box here. It says drop audio effects here. So I'm going to drop that reverb that I had before. I'm going to drop that right there. And now there's another marble over here with an S on it. And that shows sends. And the sends are here individually. And they're also up here on the flyout. So now with my concert hall reverb here set up, and I'm going to leave that at 100% wet. I'm going to kick my drums back on. Go here to fast snare. Here's the send here. I'm going to increase the send. Now the snare has the reverb from this effect right here. I'm going to go ahead and do that same thing for the toms. So one common reverb for all the drums in the drum kit, or in the drum rack. Um, now there's one other way to do this. I'm going to go ahead and delete this reverb here down here in my return box. I have a reverb already set up over here on my send. Now if I hit, if I start the drums and I hit my send, send A, the whole kit's running through my reverb that's on send A. Well, what I'm going to do instead, there's my reverb there, go back to the drum rack, and under the return chain here, I'm going to right click, select create return chain, and I'm going to make sure my little IO marble is highlighted that will expand this over here to give you a, a larger view more options over here and what I want is this option here rack output I'm gonna select a reverb that's my send a right there so now my sends are visible here I got them up here in the flyout 
I'm going to kick on my drums. Do the fat snare. Increase the send on that. Now that's the reverb that's in my A, over here, my send A. Do the same for the toms over here. So that is how you can get everything using a common reverb on your sends over here. So that's basically the nuts and bolts of that little mini tutorial.